Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. Welcome back to Dynatrace tutorial. In this class, we are going to learn about another important concept in Dynatrace called tags. What is the importance of tags? These are used to organize, categorize and manage the monitored entities in Dynatrace. With the help of these tags, we can do the efficient searching, filtering and analysis of the performance data. What all are the types available in the Dynatrace? Let me open a notepad file. There are two types of tags in the Dynatrace. First one is manual tag. Second one is automatic tag. In this class, I'll explain how to create the manual tags as well as automatic tag. Right now, I have connected to the Dynatrace console. Right now, I'm in the hosts tab. Okay. Just to create the tags, what we need to do first, we should go to the settings. Click on settings. Scroll down. Here you will find an option called tags. You need to expand that one. In that, there are two options. One is manually applied tags. Another one is automatically applied tags. First, I will explain how to create the manually applied tags. Click on manually applied tags. Provide the key and value pair here. For example, I would like to give based on the environment. I will give env as the key and value as the prod. Then click on add. Okay, now we have created a key value pair saying key as the environment and value as the prod. Next step is wherever this tag has to be applied, that condition we have to provide here. Let me click on this drop down option and here you will find lot many options you need to choose depending on the requirement like browser monitor you want to apply the tag or HTTP monitors you want to apply the tag it is completely depending on the requirement. For the demonstration purpose I am clicking on the host and then you are able to see all the host server here and here also you will find a different options like tagged, untagged and all. Let me click on all so you are going to get the server details here. Since I have only one machine so you are getting one machine details only here. I will select that. That's it. Now what happened? We have created a key value pair tag that is environment equal to prod on this particular machine. Where we can verify that? Yes. Let me go back to the host and I will show that details. Search host. Click on the host and then select the machine. Once this page is opened, you need to click on the properties and tags. I just clicked on properties and tag and now at the top itself, you are able to see the tags. We have created a tag called environment is the name that is the key and prod is the value. Likewise, you can create the multiple tags here by using the settings tab. Also, you can Create it from this particular panel as well. Click on add tag and give the value here also. I will give environment 01. Okay, that is the key and then value I will give it as a dev. Okay, then I will click on add and you are able to see the new key value pair again here. That is nothing but new tag here. One we have created from the setting page. That is first one. And now we have created on this particular console itself. Like you are going to each entities manually and you are adding the tags one by one. Okay, this we call it as a manual tagging. So it involves a lot of effort. If the environment is very small, then you can go to the each entities and you can add the manual tags. But if the environment is huge, it is not a possible thing to add the manual tags. In that case, you have to take use an option called automatic tags. So that is based on the rule. You need to provide some condition wherever that condition is satisfied. That particular tag will be created automatically. Let me show you that how it will works. I'll just click on cancel. Again, I will go back to the settings. Click on settings. As I said, inside the tags, you will find those two options: manual tagging and automatic tagging. Right now we have covered the manual tagging, how it works and how we can create that one. Now I'm explaining with the help of an automatic tag. Scroll down, click on tags and then click on automatic applied tags. Okay, so here you need to provide some conditions. Let me give an example how we can provide the condition. Click on create tag. 
then provide the tag name for example i will give the tag name as a team if you want to give some description for that one you can mention it here then click on add new rule okay and inside the rule type there are two options one is monitored entity and entity selector you can choose anyone whatever you want i will go with the first option that is monitored entity then inside the rule applies to you need to provide where this particular condition should check it could be on a services process groups or a host custom devices esxi host lot many things are there for example if i click on the host so it means this particular rule is applying on the host click on add condition then provide the property you need to select whichever you want for example i will select based on the cpu okay if the cpu core equals to 2 okay wherever the cpu cores equals to 2 then this particular rule should be applied on all those entities that is what the condition i am giving here you can see it right cpu cores equal to 2 then this particular tag should be applied okay so I want to give one more clarity here while creating the automatic tags you are going to do two things one is where that rule is going to apply then on what basis it is going to apply these two things you are going to calculate okay please keep this information in the mind then click on preview wherever this particular logic is satisfied it is going to display that information for example in my environment this particular machine is having the cpu core value as a 2 that is what it is displaying here okay once everything is given properly let me go little top and we can verify one more time for example you can see the things here tag name is team and then if you come down you are providing a, this particular condition that is rule type is monitored entity rule applies to host and then if the cpu cores equals to 2 then this rule is applied then click on save changes which is presented the below and now we have created an automatically applied tags you are able to see the same thing here this is how we need to create the tags let me show you that how the automatically created tags are reflecting on the entities again i will go back to the host tab click on the host and then click on the machine name now the detailed view of this particular machine is open like uptime cpu available memory and all but our main concentration is on properties and tags so i click on properties and tags at the top you should able to see the one which we have created now yes you are able to see this is the one we have created newly right name is teams this whatever environment equal to prod or environment 01 equal to dev that is created by using the manual method but the last one that we call it as a team that is created by using the automatic method another thing we should notice here whatever the tags which are created based on the manual method you can just click on this into marks it will get deleted automatically but automatically created tags we cannot delete it here you should go to the setting space and then only you can delete that let me show that one also i'll search with the settings then go to the tags expand click on automatically applied tags okay and in this particular page you can delete the tags which is not required for your environment go little up this is the one which you have created here you are able to find an option called delete if you simply click on delete it will go save changes now if you go back to the host you are not able to see that particular information in the host tab why because we have deleted from the settings tab let me show you that point also one more time so that it will be clear cut for you guys hosts i just clicked on that one then i click on the machine name okay again the same page is open i'll click on properties and tags but this time you are not able to see the teams tag here why we have deleted that yes this is completely empty right so the whatever we have created by using the manual method or it could be by using the automatic method we have deleted everything okay so hope you got a clear cut idea how to create the tags by using both the options this is a very important concept in the Dynatrace, very useful for all your day-to-day -day activities for creating the reports or for creating the alerts, dashboards. It is very useful. Hope you guys enjoyed the class. Thank you so much for watching. 
and kindly subscribe to our channel bye for now